why the big cardboard? Um, well, I'm a very slow and steady kind of person. And I think that has allowed me to take on uh, physically bigger tasks that, that might intimidate somebody else. But for me, it's just one little piece at a time. Um, and, you know, I'll admit there were times of why on earth am I doing this, you know, of course. But um, I really felt like I couldn't get into the space unless I made something so big. You know, I really, I couldn't, I did all these tests of sizing, you know, at different scales. You know, a 20 scale would have been so big, a 10 scale would have been so big. You know, and even the 10 scale wasn't ideal. I would have loved to do dunes that were this big, you know. And so it was this conversation internally of, which one, to, which one to try out, you know, I tried out a few. And I, I was really drawn to the larger scale because I felt like, you know, that's, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard, it's hard to get yourself into that space and it's hard to propose something that I didn't feel like I had a good reference for, you know. I was looking at um, historic topographies, I was looking at um, the topography within two natural areas on LBI. And I was looking at topography of Island Beach State Park, which is the peninsula above us. Um, but I still felt like I didn't have a good reference for how to create um, fore and back dunes that are more complex than my natural incl inclination. Because when, we, when I would draw it, it would be more uniform than it should have been, you know, more regulated than it should have been. So how do you create something that is purposefully a little chaotic or a little, not chaotic, it still, it still has rule, natural rules, but um, more random. And I was really struggling with how do you create something more random. And so I started crinkling the paper as a way to, to create that randomness. Yeah.